Good morning everyone, this is Harald Ambos Pistoros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the, for the 6th of uh, May. US jobs report to take center stage. Today, investors' uh, gaze will be fixed on the US employment report for April. The forecast is for non-farm payrolls to increase by 202k, down from 215k in March. Both the unemployment rate and average hourly earnings are expected to have remained unchanged at 5% and 0.3% month over month, respectively. While the overall uh, low initial jobless claims throughout the month support the forecast for another encouraging non-farm payroll sprint, the disappointing ANDP report for the month has tilted the risks around the NFP figure to the downside, in our view. The latest FOMC statement confirmed that the labor market is the only bright spot in the US economy at the moment. Therefore, any disappointment in the employment report could amplify the case that uh, the Fed will keep its rate hike powder, powder uh, dry at uh, the June meeting. The implied market probability for a June action is currently 13%. We believe that a potential miss in the NFP print is likely to push that likelihood even uh, lower and consequently re reverse some of the dollar's uh, recent gains. Overnight, the Australian dollar came under renewed uh, selling pressure after the, R the RBA released its uh, quarterly statement on monetary policy. The bank revised down significantly its infl inflation uh, forecasts and perhaps more importantly, brought back into light the prospect of uh, further easing if needed, something that was removed from the statement accompanying this week's uh, rate cut. Therefore, following the latest uh, rate decision and the uh, reinstruction of the bank's easing bias, we expect Aussie to remain under selling pressure, especially against uh, the stronger yen. As for the rest of today's indicators, we get Canada's employment report for April and the unemployment rate is expected to have risen somewhat. Even though a minor rise in the unemployment rate appears uh, normal given the sharp tumble in the previous month, we see increased downside risks associated with uh, the forecast. We believe that the rebound in oil prices and the fiscal stimulus measures introduced in March are likely to have kept employment supported in April. Therefore, a potentially unchanged employment rate or even a decline could reverse some of the loonies' uh, recent losses, at least at the release. We also get the IVPMI for April and expectations are for the index to increase. The forecast is supported by a rise in the RBC manufacturing PMI for the same month. We have no speakers uh, scheduled for today. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haralamos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.